what is going on youtube it's your boy billy kibaki and in today's video i am going to show you how to change your desktop um, cpu thermal pace so basically what's happening is that every time i started to play games or whatever the monitor would go black screen and then all the fans in the in the system would start to speed up really fast so that happens for quite a while so i decided to like take a further look into it and find out what's happening so basically um i reseeded the ram so i took the rams out placed them back in um i was thinking that it was the power supply because this is a 600 watt and this is a 1080 ti and the cpu is a i7 6700k so i do need a lot more power but i was using i took out my my larger power supply 850 watt because i was doing mining and all of those stuff so i had this in my mining rig and then i put a lower power in the computer but the 600 watt does run the system and it has been running the system for i think two years or, or something like that but um, we're going to take a look at the CPU thermal pace because the thermal pace wasn't changed. I have not changed the thermal pace since I put the system together. And that was maybe like five years ago or more. But hopefully the thermal pace is the problem. All right. So depending on whatever heat sink you have you might need to remove some screws i am using a corsair um i think it's a 120 um fan so yeah i have to remove those four screws around it and then remove the top all right so let's just go ahead and do that part okay so i remove all the screws um i forgot to mention that you will need a screwdriver to remove the screws, your thermal paste that you're gonna replace the old one with. This is Arctic Silver 5. Some rubbing alcohol just to spray on the, the heat sink and the chip to remove the whole thermal paste and your paper towel. So let's go ahead and lift this thing up. So yeah, as you all can see, I think definitely it seems like the thermal paste was the fault because as you all can see on the chip, there's not many thermal paste there. Plus the one right here isn't that much and it's dry. Yeah, it's dry guys. See that? It's dry. It should be moist, but yeah, I think that might be the problem. Let's try this one. Yeah, it should be moist and it's not. So yeah, and I think this was the problem. So if, if you're skill enough or if you know what you're doing, you can clean the chip while it's still in the computer while it's still on the motherboard or you can um, remove it but let's go ahead and clean up these two parts okay so I am back now and um, as you all can see the heat sink that's pretty clean and the chip has been cleaned off so I'm just gonna put some new thermal paste on it so yeah that amount should do it so when I apply the heat sink, it should spread the thermal paste across the chip, okay? Um, there have been some people saying that the power cable to the graphics card could be the problem for the black screen monitor and causing the fan to go into overdrive, but I don't think so, guys. I think you should always check your thermal paste first and see um, if there's enough thermal paste on the chip. So yeah, I'm going to put this back together, do some gaming, and uh, let you guys know the results. 
Okay, everyone, so this is my second match, and um, everything seems to be going well. So I did the first match, and now I'm doing a second match, and nothing crazy happened like before. The first time I tried playing a game, the system would restart and the, the monitor would go black screen. So I guess the problem is the thermal paste. So if you guys are having the same problem, check your thermal paste. That might be the cause of the black screen with your fans going in overdrive, okay? So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time.